Hello and welcome to the first uh, weekly wrap-up of April. Thank you for clicking on this video and joining us. Uh, I don't know if you've seen our TBR. If not, go and check that out along with our other videos after this video, right now, whatever. Whatever you fancy. <laughs> Shall I go first? Uh, yes. I think? So we changed it um, We changed it to uh, one book per week mm -hmm. uh, each. Me non-fiction, mostly. You fiction, mostly. Uh, so we can uh, do some more specials later in the week. Uh, so, my book that I've just finished reading, which I was super excited for, is David Mitchell's autobiography, Backstory. Mm -hmm. Now, I thoroughly, thoroughly loved this book. It was fantastic. It's definitely going to be something I read again. I, I mean, I'm a huge fan of David Mitchell. If you don't know him, he's a, a comedian and uh, like panel show host here in the UK. He's huge. I don't know if he's very well known elsewhere. But certainly if you haven't heard of him and you're a fan of anything that's funny, <laughs> go, go find uh, some clips on YouTube of David Mitchell. So uh, obviously with uh, most autobiographies, and this is exactly the same, it starts off... Uh, with him as a child, his home background. And for me, uh, biographies is my favourite uh, genre of book. But for me, the the, the child life, the child bit where they're really young, it's my least favourite bit. Mm. It's the bit that I can drone out for and just want to just get through as quickly as possible. And I'm so pleased to say that this wasn't that long. Yeah, he talks about, obviously, like, where he was born and his parents and all things like that. But it wasn't... It wasn't a drain. It wasn't. It was actually rather interesting where he was from. Then it jumps uh, very quickly into his life as a student at Cambridge, where he meets and mentions so many comedians mm. who are successful now. It is unreal. Like he went to school with Richard Ayoade, obviously Robert Webb. This Stephen Fry went to his school a little bit earlier on. It's Cambridge, isn't it? And it was like him and yeah. being in Footlights, which is a group he explains all, obviously in the book. And that was just so interesting. And obviously it comes with funny drunk stories of him as a student with all of his mates and stuff. I mean, I'd, I'd just love to go to university with a load of comedians. I think, <laughs> I think that setting would be rather fun. Uh, so there's obviously plenty of funny stories in there. Uh, and uh, what I loved about it was obviously with it having his mark on it, it has his outlooks of life. It has his thoughts of the world. Uh, and they are so interesting and so funny and so just, just genuinely interesting that that was a fascinating read. You just wanted to consume more and more and more. Um, uh, I read on uh, some other reviews that people thought, and people weren't, not everybody was happy with this book because they thought because he was a comedian, they wanted it to be hilarious all the way through. And it is funny. It is a genuinely funny read. Does it make you laugh out loud? Yeah, well... <laughs> Like, you know, wow. yeah, no one screams crying, like, you yeah, know, it doesn't matter who yeah. it was. But what I enjoyed the most of it was that personality that came in, uh, came out of it when it wasn't funny. Those deep bits, those worries, those anxieties that he copes with. The actual things he doesn't like, like genuinely doesn't like, and the things that he hates about, you know, filming and TV or getting recognised in public. And he, he gets so nervous talking to people and, Kate, and he's so aware of how he's coming across. Mm. And... Other reviews, people thought that that was a bit moany. I I love to hear that. I love to have that humanity brought out of a person. You know, obviously it's going to be like, you know, you can be anxious when talking to someone you don't know and they're saying, you know, things at you and you're, you're fully aware that they're judging every minuscule moment of that time. So that was always really nice to read. Just checking my notes. So yeah, it wasn't too shallow at all. There was plenty of deep thoughts there. It was uh, I re that was one of my favourite bits about the book. To be fair, then the end chapter um, about his wife when he first meets his girlfriend. Whew, I don't want to say anything more, but you believe in unicorns after that chapter. It is so no, you do. True love exists. No. Well, it does in this book. Oh. So yeah, uh, so the end chapter is something that I, I just I just loved. I, th I think a lot of people love it. You could actually hear the audiobook clip it on um, YouTube of the end chapter just because people rave about it. But it's such a good ending to the book, and you just oh, you don't want it to end. So that's a part of my feelings towards it. Uh, I um I never wanted it to end. Uh, you love David Mitchell after reading this. Everything about him is just just 
pure either interesting, hilarious, or just so absorbing. And he's and he's just a fantastic writer. Mm. Yeah, I know. I so know. five thousand. So a three star for the. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to check my notes. Yeah, I wanted to write another book. I wanted to write another one. This is uh, 2013. This is, I believe, uh, and it's now 2018. I wanted to write another one because I think he's got kids now. See, I mean, this, he got he missed. He's now he's, his life's carrying on, and he's not writing yeah. about it. He's not writing about it. So uh, I want him to do. Another. Oh, also the name backstory um it, that that's like really self-aware um that it's obviously a, a cliche name for a uh, for a, a, a memoir or a biography um and it's that's there's all sorts of jokes um added in there about like pains to the back and then he tells yeah. a big story about a walk around london with his back anyway <laughs> it's great five stars go and read this book <laughs> i'm out <laughs> <laughs> well, the first one this week that I read, yeah, uh, was well, it's on audio. <laughs> so you listen to it, yeah. yeah this one, this it, one, yeah. Listen to it, and it's the Roanoke Girls um, by Amy Engel, I think yeah. Engel. So that, yeah, I think it's Engel, um, and this was narrated by Brittany Presley. Uh, sorry, I'm just making sure I got the name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this was fantastic. Really? It was so good. I was really nervous. Um, I read some of the comments and I thought, oh, is it for me? Has it been done right? Is it this? Because uh, there's some really <laughs> sensitive family, um, kind of family makeups in there. It's not a traditional family, but it's so, you almost feel trapped within this family. Mm. Uh, the narration was so good. And I mean, so good. Yeah. Um, it was amazing. Uh, so basically, it follows a main character called Lane Roanoke. And she uh, starts a story where she's 15. Her mum has died. And I don't want to go into too much detail how mm. and why and things like that. But her mum has just died. And she gets um, sent off to go live with the Roanoke family. Her Roanoke family that she hasn't really seen, hasn't had much to do mm. with. But it's her grandma, her granddad, uh, and there's her cousin there. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's her cousin there, Allegra. Um, and they get on really well. The story develops. It flits uh, from when she went that time. And now her cousin has gone missing. Um, and it, it then flips, so then she comes back. It's no secret that Allegra goes missing. Um, but if you think thinking this is going to be a mystery, hmm. it's not. Right. It's not. You find out why she went missing. You find out what happened. But it's not. It's more. You're more listening to it because of the family. You're more wanting to know what, how Lane got there. But you're more wanting to know what the family is, what secrets the harbour, mm -hmm. and also the relationships with people that live in a small town, um, in America. Uh, I've forgotten the town. I think it's Kansas. I think. Um, but yeah. So they live, um, and but you're really wanting to know. Uh, just about more of their family unit. Mm. But listening to it on audio, I got so wrapped up. Do you think it uh, benefited the experience yeah, of the yeah, story? Yeah, definitely. Because it was all, it was from Lane's point of view. Yeah. It was 100%. That was, uh, Brittany Presley was like narrating it, it was Lane. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. It was fantastic. Um, and it talked about how she went went back after Allegra went missing. And it's this journey finding out what happens to her. But also, in between so many chapters, you get the backgrounds of the other Roanoke girls. Because they're all girls. All the kids were girls mm. uh, that they have. And something's happened to them all. Uh, whether they moved, they went missing, some died. Yeah. Uh, but they all, sort of in mysterious ways, stuff happens. Uh, there's some really weird uh, characters in there. Uh, but it's so good. Um, a lot of people said this book had a happy ending. Um, it, it, it won't ruin it to say that it doesn't. It, it doesn't. But you get so that if you listen to it or read mm. it, you'll know why that doesn't ruin it by saying it doesn't. Mm. But you're so absorbed with this family. Um, and Allegra's, um, you get absorbed with her. That's the cousin. Uh, you get so absorbed in her, why she has now gone missing. Mm. Uh, and yeah, you find out. It's no big surprise uh, to find out what's happened to her. Um, so it's not a mystery as such, mm. but you just get so absorbed in Lane and the Roanoke family that it's just crazy. 
Uh, but and the parts that are so delicate um, were done so well that you just thought, okay, this is their family. This is you didn't yeah. think, oh my god, this is really disturbing. It's horrible. It's disgusting. Yeah. You didn't think like that. And maybe you should have done. I read some of the five star reviews that people thought the same. I was like, oh my god, how can I like a book that's so horrible uh, yeah. to be so good? But it is. It's just the best thing. It, it's horrible yeah. saying that it's the best thing, but it is the yeah. best thing. Uh, so yeah, it's five star. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. A pretty positive first week of April. Yeah. I think. I hope the next next ones are good. Yeah, me too. I hope everything I read's good. Yeah. Yeah. Is that everything? <laughs> yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, I hope you've had a great reading week as well. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. If you haven't seen any of the others, uh, please check those out and stay. Uh, around for some of the specials and the more uh, more of the weekly wrap ups that we're going to do uh, yeah just check out our other stuff leave us a comment check out all the uh, contact details down below and thank you <laughs> <laughs>